this is Nick with logosbynick.com and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can wrap text around a circle using Photoshop. So I'm going to start a new document in Photoshop and I'm going to choose custom over here and I want to make sure I have the size set to 1280 by 1280 and that is in pixels and then I'll go ahead and click create. And if you notice here we're going to have a fresh new document sized at 1280 by 1280. The first thing I want to do is just set up some guides. So we'll come up here to where it says view and I'm going to click on new guide. And I want to make this 50% vertical guide at 50%. Click OK. And you'll see a vertical guide going across the screen there. And I want to do the same thing again, only with horizontal. I'll come back here to where it says View. Click on New Guide. Make this 50%. Choose Horizontal. Click OK. And now we have our guides. And one last thing I want to do, just to double check, I want to come up here to where it says View. And make sure you have Snap enabled. Same thing over here where it says Snap to. Make sure you have Guides enabled as well. Both of those should be enabled by default, but it's good to just double check because it's important for what we're going to do next. Now what I want to do is I just want to swap the foreground and the background color here. By default it should be black as the foreground and white as the background. I'm just going to swap that around with this little icon right here. So we have white as the foreground and black as the background. And I want to grab the circles tool. So I'm going to come over here to where the squares tool is or the rectangle tool. Right click on that so we get this flyout menu. And from this flyout menu I'm going to choose the ellipse tool. And with the ellipse tool selected I'm going to bring the cursor to the center of the page here where the two guides intersect. And I'm going to click and drag to start creating an ellipse. And while I'm holding that click and drag, I'm going to hold Shift and Alt on the keyboard so that it creates a symmetrical circle coming from the center of the page like that. And I'm going to make this about that big. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly this big. Just, you know, just eyeball it. That's pretty good right there. Maybe a third of the way through the page. And we now have our circle that we're going to wrap this, the uh, text around. So what I want to do now is grab the type tool, which is over here. Click on that. And if you bring your cursor over to the circle, you'll notice that the cursor icon changes as you hover it over the edge of that circle. You'll notice like a little uh, wavy line going through the cursor there. Once you have that wavy line enabled, just go ahead and click and it'll allow you to write some text around that circle there. So I'm just going to write wrap your text. And if you notice, I can't see the text because it's going in white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to triple click on that text. One, two, three. And I'm going to change the color up here. I'm going to go with maybe red, something like that. Click OK. And I want to make this a different font and maybe a little bigger. So I'm going to come up here to this toolbar, click that drop down. And the font I'm going to use is Leek Gothic. You can use whatever font you'd like. I just like to use this font for wrapping text around a circle. And I want to make that bigger. So let me try something like 72. That looks pretty good. And now what you want to do is adjust the position of the text on the circle, rotate it around a little bit. To do that, we're going to grab the Paths tool, which is over here, or the Path Selection tool, rather. Grab on that. And you'll notice this little node right here. If you just click and drag on that, you should be able to move your text. There you go. You should be able to move your text like that. I'm just going to rotate it around until it's positioned exactly where I want it on the top of the circle here. Just like that. Okay, so we have the top portion of the text complete. What I want to do now is create some text going around the inner portion of the circle that says around a circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. Come down here to this little icon where it says uh, this little icon right here to create a new layer and it's going to put a new layer above that. And once again, I'm going to create another circle. So let's grab the uh, ellipses tool, bring the cursor to the center of the page, click and drag, and then hold shift and alt to create our perfectly symmetrical circle. And I'm going to make this circle just a little bit larger than the text there, or maybe not larger, just enough so that it sits on the top edge of the text. And once you've created the circle, the, the, uh, the, the other text is going to disappear. That's because the layer is overlapping the text layer. So to change that, I'm just going to click and drag this layer down here like this. And our text should become visible again. And now once again, I'm just going to come back here to the Type tool. I'm going to click on the edge of the circle right here. And I'm just going to type around a circle. Now if you notice, it's bringing the text around the outside edge of the circle. We want it to be on the inner edge of the circle. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to the Paths tool. And again, I'm going to grab this little node down here. And I'm going to click and drag it inward to the inner, to the inside of the circle like that. If you bring it to the outside of the circle, it's going to put it on the outside of the circle. If you bring it inwards like that, it's going to bring it to the inside. So I'm going to bring that right about there. I'm going to change the position of this a little bit. You know what? What I want to do now is adjust the spacing between these letters. Because as you can see, these letters are a little close together. So let me go back to the Type tool. Let me triple click on these letters to select them all. And to increase the spacing between the letters, I'm going to hold Alt on the keyboard and press right on the arrow a few times until it's spaced out uh, in, in a way that's consistent with the text on top. So 
And if you want to reduce the space between the letters, you can go backwards with the arrow like that. So uh, that's, that's one thing to keep in mind. Maybe a little bit less. Right, right about there looks good. And once again, I'll go back to the, uh, the path selection tool. And I just want to bring this around a little more until it's even at the bottom. And there we go. That right there is what we're looking for. Now what you could do is you could turn off the visibility of the background and the two ellipse layers right there. And there you go. There's your text. That's how you can go about wrapping text around a circle using Photoshop. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.